Hi, this is Mike Kent. I'm one of the professors that teaches computer literacy at San Jacinto College. You will either be taking this class as ITSC 1309 or BCIS 1305. I wanted to show you something about the guided projects. So I'm going to, in SimNet here, I'm going to filter my projects down to Word. And in particular, I want to show you this project right here, Guided Project 4-2. If I click on it, you'll see I have to download a set of instructions, a start file, and then it has a resource file. So I want to show you something about the resource file. Now, many students will just click on something they have to download and not pay attention to where it's being saved. So if I click on this, it's opened it, but where did it save it? Well, it probably saved it to downloads, but here's what I like to do. I like to right click on it and say save link as. Now, I created a folder on the desktop called ITSC 1309 and inside of it I did new folder and created a folder called Word and that's where I want to save these instructions. So I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go on to the, there it is right there. Now I'm going to right click on it and go on to save link as for the start file and you see it remembered the location I was saving it. Desktop, ITSC 1309, Word, so I'm going to hit save, but I also need this resource file. So I'm going to right click on it and say save link as and save that as well. Now, if I go to my desktop here, you see my 1309 folder, Word, here's the three files I downloaded. The Word document I'm going to be working on, the set of instructions that tells me what to do, but this resource file, if you can see that icon right there, it's got a little zipper on it. This is a zipped file. It's compressed. Now, Windows is smart enough that if you double click on a zip file, it just opens it up as a folder. But the problem we have is if we're in Microsoft Word, I'll launch this Word document. I'll say enable editing. And I'll just click, I'll leave my cursor where it is, and I'll go insert picture. And where did I save that picture? The resource file? i got to go to the desktop. 1309, Word. Hey, there's nothing there. Because what happens is Microsoft Office is not smart enough to be able to look inside that compressed folder, even though Windows is. So what we have to do is we have to right-click on this compressed folder and say extract all and you run through a little extraction wizard and now you see I have a folder that says guided project resources and I have the compressed file if you look at the type right here file folder compressed zipped folder now that we've uncompressed it I can actually delete the zipped folder and if I go back into Microsoft Word, now you'll see if I say insert picture and I browse back to my desktop, 1309 Word, there's the resource folder. And if I go into it, there's the heart rate picture I'm supposed to insert as part of this project. So what I wanted to show you here was how to extract those resource folders. And you'll have to do this several times throughout the semester. And that will enable you to do this guided project with the resources. That's all I had for you. Thanks a lot.